Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Queen holds crisis meetings after Meghan shocks Her Majesty with nasty surprise. Queen Elizabeth II has called her closest royal aides to her summer residence at Balmoral Castle to hold crisis meetings on what is being dubbed the Duchess disaster ahead of Prince Harry and Meghan's arrival in Scotland. We can now confirm Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is the hot topic after she shocked Her Majesty with a nasty surprise that was the final straw. Don't miss this. Queen Elizabeth II is not having a relaxing summer at Balmoral this year. Her Majesty loves her time in Scotland during the summer months. But thanks to an escalating crisis with Meghan Markle, the Queen's called on her closest aides to manage the Duchess disaster. It all came to a head last week when the Queen was shocked to learn she'd been hoodwinked by Meghan. This goes back to the new Duchess of Sussex's handling of her father, Thomas Markle, before and after the May 19 wedding. From day one, Meghan reported to the monarch's aides that she was in touch with her father and extended family and lied about the entire ordeal. The Duchess also lied to Harry's PR team which caused the Prince's longtime secretary to quit. Edward Lane Fox, quit over Meghan's haughty attitude, as she refused to take his advice regarding how to handle her father and her extended family. Palace insiders say when Edward Lane Fox departed this summer, he warned Harry, it's, Meghan's bad press, hurting the royal family, and especially your grandmother. Reports got back to the Queen that Meghan's been lying about her father since the engagement, and now Thomas Markle is like a wounded papa bear, bewildered why Meghan's completely cut him off. Mr. Markle is going to the media, spilling his guts, and it's erupted into really bad press for the royal family. This all could and should have been avoided. Meghan told the royal PR team after her engagement that she was in contact with her father and everything was fine regarding his role in the upcoming nuptials, but that just wasn't true. Since her engagement, Meghan has only spoken to her father on three occasions. First, when she and Harry called and the prince asked her for her hand in marriage, then after she learned he wasn't coming to the wedding, and lastly, on the day after she got married. It was apparent Thomas Markle had no plans in place to attend the royal wedding in the week prior to the event. Meghan told the palace it was all handled. Then, just four days before the wedding, Markle is still in Mexico, as the Daily Mail reported on May 15, his daughter and Harry are said to be heartbroken by his decision, not to attend and will try to change his mind but Mr. Markle has claimed his daughter is yet to speak to him. Palace insider Ingrid Seward reports via the Daily Mail, and while the success of her wedding to Prince Harry earlier this year had seemed to secure a special place for Meghan in the affections of the British public, her decision to leave her father isolated threatens to undo that good work, and leave her with a colder reputation. Seward adds, no one has been telling Meghan what to do or what not to do when it comes to her personal relationship with her father. The Queen does not intervene in family matters, so it is up to Meghan how she chooses to deal with her relatives. That was before the Queen called for these crisis meetings, where she learned the truth. What the Queen just found out was that Meghan has been lying all along. Instead of calling her father and helping him get to the wedding and adjust to what it means to have a daughter who is a duchess in the British royal family, she decided to abandon him and cut him off completely as if he never existed. The former American actress is infamous for ghosting people in her life but this time it backfired, big time. Mr. Markle told the Daily Mail, I'm really hurt that she's cut me off completely. I used to have a phone number and text number for her personal aides at the palace, but after I said a few critical words about the royal family changing Meghan, they cut me off. Those numbers were disconnected, they no longer work. I have no way of contacting my daughter. Those critical words came after he has been treated badly from day one. All the fallout including the staged paparazzi photos, happened because of Meghan's reluctance to involve her father in her life. In 2016, Meghan's writing on her blog The Tig for Father's Day includes a pic of her and Thomas, as reported by The Sun. It's obvious he was in her life, and when she got engaged, he was out. So now the Queen is left holding the bag of what's being called the Duchess disaster. While Her Majesty can't control Mr. Markle, you bet she will be confronting Meghan about her lies the minute she shows her face at Balmoral. Many Brits have sympathy for Thomas Markle, and it's time Meghan dealt with her father and stopped playing the victim. Queen Elizabeth II, at 92 years old, deserves a relaxing vacation at her favourite summer place in Scotland, and she loathes to intervene in Meghan's crisis. But it's hurting the royal family, so it's her duty to step in. The British monarch isn't going to let the former American actress drag her family or country down, that's one thing you can bet on. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like 
and subscribe. Thank you.